I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the ValderBBShow. It's Friday. I thought yesterday was Friday, so they made me come back today. But I'm ready. And I've got my first guest this morning. I've got Jeremy Tipton. Jeremy, tell me what's going on in the world of men's health. Well, with June being Men's Health Month, uh, AFLAC uh, conducted a survey uh, for men's health issues. And we conducted it with 1,000 U.S. males uh, in April on uh, their health actions and perceptions over the last 12 months. Uh, there is a big disconnect, obviously, as you can imagine. Uh, 90% of men in the survey said they lead somewhat healthy lives, yet only half those individuals went to the doctor last year, Valder. Why such a low volume of people going to the doctor? Well, we hope that the pandemic played into that in some way or another, but there are a lot of barriers associated uh, with men going to the doctor. Lack of education and awareness around ailments and, and health issues that affect men, um, but also negative reasons and beliefs. All of us men are macho, right? So men feel less masculine uh, when they go to the doctor. They don't think they have time, and they're really worried about out-of-pocket medical expenses. Okay, so what can you motivate your, your guys to get the kind of care, medical care, that they need? What do we do? Sure, sure. So spouses play a big role in that. Nearly half the men in the survey said that their spouse is a big driver of them going to the doctor. Uh, and the women in one's life are also big drivers, as you can imagine. More than half the men in the survey said that their wife, mother, uh, sister or girlfriend uh, drove them to go to the doctor and many of those in the survey actually said they keep health ailments and challenges from a health perspective from their women in their lives so that they don't have to deal with uh, the prodding to go to the doctor the arguments that might ensue. You did this survey was there anything surprising in the survey? Um, there, were, there were some surprising components. 10% of men said that they would actually uh, go and do their health checkups if they were paid cash to go to the doctor. So for us at AFLAC, having several policies in our portfolio uh, that individuals can purchase, it, they pay the individuals to go to the doctor and get their health checkups, uh, cash benefits, because we know the importance of early detection. Okay. So when we know early detection is a key, and from an insurance per perspective, is there any benefit to help people establish good health habits? Well, sure there is. Obviously, um, going, going to the doctor and finding out uh, that you have uh, one of these ailments that are commonly associated with men like cancer or heart disease or whatever it might be, uh, it does uh, create a less expensive treatment scenario if you catch those, uh, those early on in the process. I want my audience to know that today I'm talking to Jerry, Jer, excuse me, Jeremy Tipton. He's of AFLEC, and he's here to explain about men's health. Let me ask you, the high cost of medical care, did that factor into this survey, Jeremy? It did, absolutely. Uh, the cost associated with medical care for prescriptions or treating those ailments were definitely something that men said uh, they were worried about. I think nearly half the men in the survey said that they were challenged with the cost of medical care. All right, then. I know you've got some answers for my audience because I see them weighing in on social media. Where can they go and find some answers? Yep, they can go to aflac.com forward slash men's health for all the details on the survey as well as to find out more about the AFLAC products and services. Well, Jeremy, I like it better. You talked about health instead of summer. <laughs> so thank you so very much. Absolutely. Nice talking with you, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.